Hello and welcome to Oz Toy Reviews. And as Yoda would say, strong in the force are we, because today we'll be reviewing... What? Talk like that? I do not. Speak correctly, do I? Backward speaking, are you? Whoa, okay, okay, let's not quote Yoda. But today we are reviewing the Millennium Falcon, which is a Star Wars toy from the Galactic Hero range. And, and this looks pretty awesome, but I don't usually uh, review Star Wars stuff. Usually I stick to like Batman things when it comes to, or, or not Batman, but but superhero kind of stuff. But uh, if you guys want me to review more Star Wars things, I'm happy to. I'm, I'm flexible like a gymnast of <laughs> in, in the reviewing sense, not the actual physical sense. Um, so if you want me to review Star Wars toys, then let me know in the comments below. And if enough of you want me to do it, then I'll go out there and start buying lots of Star Wars stuff and we can review it together. Now, um, before I open it up, let's quickly check out the box. We'll do the front and then the back. So first up, you can see is a big picture of Rey on the front. And I, I before reviewing this, because I don't know much about this toy, right, this toy, because I haven't really seen it before, I did a quick look, and I noticed that you used to be able to get Han Solo with this, but they've replaced Rey with Han Solo. So um, I think the older sets had Han Solo, the newer sets after The Force Awakens and all the new movies now have Rey in it. Um, and I think Chewbacca's changed slightly as well. But um, but yeah, it looks really cool. We can see uh, it comes with Chewbacca and Rey, as I mentioned. It looks like it flips open in some way. Uh, it mentions power-up, so I don't know what that's about. And it looks, for, it looks like it's for the ages 3 to 7. Now, let's spin it around. It's a very big box. I don't want to smash things over. There we go. Now, let's go through everything we can see here. So it mentions uh, the Millennium Falcon has flown countless missions for the Rebellion and she's ready to go head to head with the First Order. Wow, okay. Now I can see here there's a uh, power-up. So, oh, that means that the arms swap around, which is something I've never liked. I, I stopped buying Play School Heroes when they started doing that because uh, I, I, I don't see the point in being able to make the arms come off. Because why would you want anyone to have Chewbacca arms and anyone else to have Rey's arms? Like, you know, Han Solo with Rey's arms wouldn't be the same. I don't know. Let me know in the comments as well what you think about this. Like, if you think it is cool that you can swap the arms around, like, do you have them? Do you play with them? And is it, like, a feature you like? Or do you wish they kept it like they used to where the arms were just attached to the body just like other toys I guess um, but anyway that's uh, I, I don't know rant about that but I really dislike that feature um, but anyway the rest of the things you can do is that there's a spinning droid which looks cool looks like you spin the table around and it makes that little droid underneath move around which is kind of like what Luke used to learn how to use the lightsaber uh, there's a trap door somewhere it looks like it's under where BB-8 is sitting uh, there's a cool kind of cockpit shooting panel place it looks like um, it doesn't come with all these guys, just those two. Uh, I don't know what's happening there. Uh, nothing else happening there. Oh yeah, in the secret compartment. And there, there's just mentions of what it comes with. So it includes uh, Ray in a resistance outfit, Chewbacca uh, with power-up arms, a sensor dish, cannon, ladder which must be inside, and label sheet, which we'll probably find out once we're opening all this up. So, without further ado, let us start opening this. Okay, so, that took a little bit of time to get that all unwrapped and unboxed, but here we go, we got it out now. So, we have the Millennium Falcon. It's pretty big, so I'll spin it around like that. There you go, and we have Chewbacca, who's still missing his arms. Let's slot those in. So, there we have Chewbacca. Actually, we'll start with Chewbacca. So uh, there we go, there's Chewbacca, he's got a headset on because he's usually the co-pilot of the Millennium Falcon. He's got the bandolier around his chest, which I can't remember what is in it. I'm assuming it's ammo for his bowcaster, which he's holding there. Uh, let's lift it up. It's a very cool bowcaster, I like that kind of metallic chrome plate, or it's kind of like a gunmetal grey, oh there you go, gunmetal grey uh, colour he's got on, the, on his bowcaster. Uh, he's got a big old pouch there, which I don't know what he keeps in, maybe his uh, Wookiee lunch. A bandolier on the back, and then you can see that slot there where his arms can come in and out. Let's see, ah, oh, there we go, they come out pretty easily. So there he is without his arms. And there you go, you just click them back into place, and they're pretty, they're, they're pretty well stuck in there, like they're not gonna fall out while you're playing with them. So that's one good thing, that's uh, one thing I was kind of worried about is 
if you're trying to play with a toy and the arms are always kind of like falling out because they're designed to be swapped. But no, it's 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 in there quite uh, quite well, quite securely. Uh, the wrists look like they they rotate, which is good. Uh, both of them. And his head, little bit of wookie movement. <laughs> there you go. Now, and what, what was I going to look at? There was one more thing. Um, it's a shame the bowcaster can't come out of his hands. Like I noticed, both of them have guns like attached in their hands, uh, which I kind of don't like because not all your storylines when you're playing with these things would involve a big gun. Like say, if you wanted uh, Chewie to be the best man at like Hans and Hans and who's he married? Leia's <laughs> wedding. Then you know you don't want him standing there with the bowcaster being the the best man or one of the or maybe the groom if he's marrying someone. So uh, yeah, there's always a time when you don't want them to have guns. So it's kind of a shame that they are designed to have guns just by default. Okay, now next up, let's check out Ray. Let's spin her hand around. So again, she's got the rotating wrists, which is cool. Uh, she looks kind of cool. Looks nice. She looks a little bit like Princess Leia as well, with the um, what do you call it? Like the eyelashes kind of coming up at the corners there. Looks a bit of a Princess Leia thing going on. Got Ray's cool haircut, how it's kind of like been three little, what would you call those? Not ponytails, it's kind of tied up in a loop like that. I don't know much about girls here. Uh, she's got a cool big gun there, which is nice. Uh, she's wearing her kind of like sand, sand person clothes, kind of. Actually, I mentioned on the box what her outfit was. Hold on. Uh, it's her resistance outfit, so she's wearing her resistance outfit. Uh, a little kind of like, again, a little lunch pouch. She can keep some crackers in there, maybe. And again, her arm comes off. Oh, there we go. So sn step them out of place. <laughs> now she's got no arms. Just like uh, C-3PO. One point, his arms and legs. No, what happens? His, yeah, his arms get blown off at one point. And uh, Chewbacca, no, his legs get blown off. And Chewbacca, he wears them like a backpack. I remember now. Now, uh, she's looking cool, and again, she's wearing a headset, because uh, she's usually, in the movies, she's usually the pilot of the Millennium Falcon, and Chewie is like her, her uh, what you call it, second in command. And now, uh, this dish is the new satellite dish. I don't know if you remember, but from the original movies, it was a round satellite dish. But uh, we'll put that, I think, I think that goes there. Ugh. There we go. Oh, it goes up and down, which is nice. It's a bit noisy, but it spins around. Cool, okay, I like that. And this gun turret, I don't know where this goes. I guess it can go wherever you want. So it fits on there. Oh, look at that, cool. So you push that down, and the uh, guns move around as if they're shooting, which is cool. And let's check it out. I haven't opened this up yet, so I don't know what we're gonna find inside. There's all these like compartments, like I don't know if you've seen much about the differences between the two Millennium Falcons, but uh, the original one had like all these kind of extra panels around the side and on the top, and then in the when you see the Millennium Falcon much later when it's older, it's missing a lot of panels, they've all kind of been blasted off over the years of battles and stuff, and that's what looks like can happen here, like it looks like you can take a lot of these panels off. I don't know if you can or if you're meant to without breaking it, but yeah, it's just weird that they look like they can be uh, pulled out. And I'll show you the top before we get into it. So it's nice how it's got little bits of red around the place. Little bits of orangey red. I love that gun. Uh, oh yeah, the gun rotates as well. And I remember in the movie that there's a gun down the bottom. So maybe... Maybe that can go in there? Nope. <laughs> I remember one of the movies, yeah, the gun kind of comes out the bottom there. I think it's the one when Luke's shooting it. But it doesn't matter, we'll stick it up the top for now. And while we had it upside down, I noticed it's got some little feet here. Which is cool. So they come out. Now, I think it's missing a front leg, but it's probably going to be inside somewhere. But for now, we'll, we'll put the legs down. Now, we open this up. Uh, something's... Oh, there we go. So to, uh, I don't know if you saw that, but it's kind of, the the top is locked at the moment. I can't open it up. But then, as soon as you push this back, it unlocks it. So there we go, okay. First time open. So make sure you can see it all. 
So I'll show you the top down first. So there's two kind of couches, one there, one there. Uh, there's some sort of center console which doesn't rotate. But I remember in the photos, or oh, on the box, they had the gun in there. So if you ever want to have the Millennium Falcon sitting there like a mobile base, you can do that. I'll just take it out for now. There's a game there, I can't remember what it's called, but hopefully you can see that. Where uh, It's like a holographic chess game. You see a few people playing on the Millennium Falcon. Looks like some sort of four-legged mon monster guy there fighting some other guy. Oh, there you go. And now what else can we see? So this looks like the hidden cockpit, no. The smuggler's stash or smuggler's place where Han Solo or whoever's in it will smuggle all their contraband. So that's in there and it looked like it was big enough to fit someone. So we'll chuck in Chewie. Get in there Chewie. Let's see if we can we can smuggle smuggle people. Oh not Chewie. He's a bit big but maybe Ray. Yeah she'll fit. There you go. So you can smuggle people in there no problem. And this looks like it goes down. There we go. Now in the smugglers bay we saw a leg so it's I'm assuming that's the big foot what goes there. There we go. So now that makes more sense. So people can board the Millennium Falcon by going up the little ramp there, which is cool. Oh, close. Uh, I think I broke it a little. <laughs> Not properly broken. It clips in and out of place. There we go. Okay, now what else can we see? So this I saw in the pictures opens up. There we go. So we can fit a pilot in there. Or someone manning the guns. I'm not sure if it's meant to be the cockpit or where a gunner sits. So there we go. We got Chewie doing that. Again, he's holding his gun, which doesn't make sense. Oh, yeah, and he even closes on him. Cool. So, oh, look at that. Okay, cool. Nice. So they can sit in there and have it all closed and fly around, which is awesome. Okay, now let's move the camera just so we can see the top half. There we go. How's that? Hold on. I'll lift you up. Nice. That's better. Okay. Now what can we see here? So if I spin this around, you can see that uh, little orb there spinning around. So that's what people will use to practice their lightsabers. And I know there are some Star Wars Galaxy characters who do have lightsabers like um, there'll be a Luke and there'll probably be a Rey with a lightsaber and uh, Kylo Ren. So you could put those there with their lightsabers out kind of hitting this as it spins around, so that would be cool. Uh, this pillar there doesn't do anything, which is all right. It looks like there are little things which we can, we can put on these circles, but I don't have any of those things yet. But it looks like something can be attached to these circles around the place. Uh, a little kind of viewing screen. they got a table for sitting or standing. There we go. And I think that's all the features. Oh no, I forgot one. So there's a trap door here, so you stand on it, and there you go! Ah! <laughs> I wish I had a stormtrooper to test that on, that would have been fun. But there you go, and it just kind of clicks back into place. Now, we'll close it all up, see how it goes. There we are. And pull this forward. Now push the legs up. And unfortunately, that other leg is always going to be there. So you're going to have to pull that out every time. Or you could use it like a handle, I guess. <laughs> Don't know if you could see that, but you can hold it like that if you want to. Or, or will it come out? It's not easy, maybe if I twist it. Nope. Okay, it might be stuck there <laughs> permanently now. Okay, oh well, that leg might be there forever now. Doesn't seem to want to come out. Maybe there's a trick to it. Nope. Oh well, it's always going to have that leg there. Ooh, love this toy, do I? Play with it, I must. So there we go, the Millennium Falcon. We got Chewbacca and we got Rey, who is in, still inside the smuggler's den. Smuggler's hold. We'll pull her out. Fill them on top. There we go. 
So we got that Chewbacca Ray and the Millennium Falcon. Now I hope you enjoyed the, vi vi <laughs> the video and the review. If you did, let me know by clicking the thumbs up like button, a comment if you want to comment, you can tell me anything. But otherwise guys, I hope you have a great week, take care of yourself and may the force be with you.